Hello and welcome to Pixel. And um, today I'd like to introduce you to Alex. Hi, Alex. Hey, Adam. Nice to be here. Good. I, I believe that uh, you had something dropped through your letterbox yesterday. Yes, long awaited. I've got this arrived. I don't know if you can see that properly. I don't know if I'm on yeah, the screen no, looks correctly. Good. Looks great. Yeah. yeah. Um, so this is the fifth edition of, of my friend Martin Edge's book. Um, I'm sure everyone watching this has been aware that Martin has written a series of books called The Underwater Photographer over the last, I guess, 20 years or so. Yeah. Um, and this is the latest version and, and probably the final one um, from what I'm speaking to Martin about it. So uh, a worthy addition to any underwater photographer's um, library. It's a very big book, as you can see, packed with information. Um, and I'm very proud that I, I, was the, I was able to write the foreword for this book. That's yeah. me there. Yeah, yeah. Days when you're allowed to hug people. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, really nice. I haven't looked at any of it yet. Um, I was sent the PDF of it when it came out. But I, I wanted my first experience of the book to be the hard copy. So I purposely didn't download the PDF and, and read it. I was really looking forward to, to seeing this in the, in the flesh. And that day, that day was yeah, just now. So really nice to see it. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to having, having a good go through it. It looks fantastic. I think it's a big book. It's, you know, it's a heavy book. Um, yeah. And it's really encyclopedic. It tries to cover as much about underwater photography as you can do. Yeah. And yeah, um, I think the other thing I really like about Martin's books, well, just what I talk about, oh, a couple of things I should say is one of the reasons I've been waiting so long for this is that um, the book was finished sort of back in, in March time. Yeah. And it was due to come out in early April. And certainly here in Europe, that was when lockdowns came in. Yeah. And I joked with Martin that it was the, you know, the perfect timing to launch a book because everyone was stuck at home without anything to read. And, you know, that was really, you know, oh, people can order the book and they'll actually have time to read it. And that's really, really exciting. And frustratingly, the lockdown also has really, really hit distribution. And, you know, me, as, as, as a, I wrote a chapter in this book, I wrote the foreword and mine only just arrived. And I think that must have been a real frustration for Martin in that the book was finished ages ago. Everyone's been at home waiting for material to read and they've not been to get yeah, the book out there. Very frustrating. Is, yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, really great to finally see it. I think the other strength of this book, and I've sort of hinted at that, is Martin's always seen this as a book that, yes, he writes it, but he's very much the editor of it. And it involves lots of contributions. And, and this one actually, um, Stuart Gibson is the, the sort of the co-author on this one, who's helped Martin with, with various aspects of the book. But also the book has got contributions from lots of different underwater photographers. So it's very much sort of a, a curated collection and being invited to contribute to Martin's book is always a sort of a feather in the cap of, yeah. of rising stars. And he doesn't just go around the normal, sus sus um, normal suspects. He does like to pull out people who he feels are maybe not that well known, but he feels are going to be. So the, looking through this, Mario Vitellini um, is a good friend of mine. He wrote the chapter on compacts, mirrorless cameras and micro four thirds. Um, Shannon Conway did the full frame versus crop um, chapter, which was actually written quite a long time ago. I, I don't think it's one of the strongest sections of, of the book. That, that I read that when I was writing my chapter, which follows on to that, which was on water contact optics for full frame cameras, which I thought was a really exciting new area to put into this edition of the book. Um, there's some other sections. Um, Alex Tattersall, who's written about super macro. Um, Stuart Gibson has written about snooting. Um, Nick Moore has written about motion blur. Nick Blake has written about rec photography. Um, and I missed a couple, I think Sasha Danson has written about using LED lighting. And I think all of that is, is, is really interesting because it's not just, you don't just benefit from Martin's knowledge, you benefit from the knowledge of all these photographers. And I yeah, think that's absolutely. the strength of the book. Anyway, you have actually reviewed it properly. I have, yeah. We, we posted a review on, on WetPixel um, a while ago. Um, and um, but I just thought I, I've actually got the, the PDF of the of the book. Um, so let's open it up. Here we have um, Martin's book. Um, we were very fortunate to get an early PDF copy in order to do the review on Wet Pixel. Um, it's um, it's as, as Alex has mentioned. It's a, it's a it's a very very compendious volume. It contains information about pretty much everything. Um, and um, 
one of the nice things about it is that the quality of the images that, that, that um, Martin shared throughout it. Um, having said that now, as I'm scrolling through, I can't find any pictures. Um, but once you get into the meat of the book, here we go. You know, there are lots and lots of really beautiful pictures. Um, it's not all of them are Martin. Some of them are from the contributors, of course. Um, but um, there's a great deal of information contained within it. Um, so back, back to Alex and I. Um, so our review, I'll, I'll, I'll add the URL for the review in the, in the um, section, in the comment section, um, in the, sorry, in the show description on YouTube. Um, but in general, um, one of the things that Martin does really, really well, I think, um, is to gather this sort of information, as you said, Alex, but also he presents it in quite a, a, a an educational way. I think Martin is is not only a, 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 a good, a great photographer, but he's also um, a very good educator. And he has this system that he calls the think, think and consider system that he splits things down into constituent components. And he lays out the book very much along these lines. Um, and I think particularly, for example, the section where he talks about composition. Composition obviously is a very, very personal um, subject, um, and, and and for every every photographer, most photographers would disagree on composition, composition and how to do it. But he does a good job of laying out some basic principles um, that can help people get better pictures through composition. I, I, I thought that was a really, really strong chapter, um, and this is obviously on specifically in terms of in terms of this think and consider system. Um, yeah, I'd say that Martin is addicted to teaching. He absolutely loves it. And it's actually not about underwater photography. You know, if you are yeah. chat with him about anything and he just loves helping people. And I think that really comes through to me whenever I interact with him, whether I read his things, you know, he really he really loves that that side of, 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 the, of it. Yeah, once you get Martin, if you ever meet Martin, if you're ever fortunate enough to meet Martin in, in the flesh, um, once you get chatting to him, that's it, he's off. Um, it's a bit like conversation between you and I, Alex. It's, you know, it's, it's 25 minutes minimum um, yeah. and, and, and often longer. And, and, and his enthusiasm, I think that shows in, in the through the book as well. Um, you know, it's a very persuasive book um, to encourage people to go out and get, to, to think about how they're taking pictures and to get better pictures. Um, mm -hmm. And certainly in the... Um, in the review that I posted, um, I suggested certainly, obviously, your book and his book together combined make a really, really good source of, I don't know whether you want to call them crib notes, or but they're a really, really good source of, of both inspiration and technical information that will help you get better pictures. And, and I would really encourage, to be honest, most photographers who are going out there or, or people starting out photography to have both available. I think, I think they're very, very much... Um, compatible companionable companion volumes mm -hmm. that that ultimately get to the same place but in different ways and I think that that's a really useful they're very useful tools in the photographer's armory I think when you reviewed my book back you know four years ago now you said a fairly similar thing in that it's not about is this book is Alex's book better than Martin's or Martin's book better than Alex's is very much that any underwater photographer will benefit hugely from having both yeah. And it's actually some of the best money you can spend as an underwater photographer is investing in, in this knowledge mm -hmm. as opposed to, you know, buying another tub of over in Greece. Because the reality is these books cost about the same. It's true. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, but I, I think I would sort of qualify. I mean, I, I don't want to get dragged into the reviewing side of it because I wrote the forward for this, but I also wrote the competing volume for this. But I do think that when I wrote my book, I was very aware that 90 percent of the people who were likely to buy my book would have had a previous edition of Martin's book sitting on their shelves somewhere. Mm. So I tried to write a book that complemented Martin's book that dealt with obviously some of the same issues, but some different issues, yep. but it was a book that you wanted to own as well. Yep. And I think that's also meant that once people have got my book, when Martin then brought out another book and you know, his book, if he carried on in the same style as his previous books, it would also fit very nicely with my book. So if you yeah. haven't had Martin's previous books, but you have my book, his book, because my book was written to be different from his previous editions, his book automatically feels different from mine. So they, yeah. they do work very well as a pair. Yeah, it's definitely the case. I, mean, I, think, I think I make the point in the review that, that um, I somewhat missed in his previous edition some of the... Um, some of the teaching components. And I think this latest edition, actually, he does a better job or the, 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 the book itself, the way it's structured, does a better job of bringing out the, the teaching side of things um, and, and his, his approach and philosophy to that 
Um, and I think that's that's a bonus. But but I think, as you say, I think that, that generally, as photographers, the more source of information we have, generally the better. But certainly these two. Now, one one of the things that 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 um, both Martin's and yours are available digitally. And I think I think I would encourage people in general to you know on that long plane ride to wherever you're going somewhere exotic, hopefully hopefully sometime soon, um, you know. Get them on your iPad. Get them on your whatever device you use, um, and and at least skim through them on the way there. I think certainly that's a really good way of refreshing your mind and, and making sure your sort of creativity and getting your head in the right space really to then go out and produce excellent images. That both together will be be a, be a good way of doing that. Um, if you get the iBook version of mine, you get to see videos of me, and you get much more value for money. More videos of Alex. What more could you want? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You put me up on full screen now, Adam, and I'll I'll flick through a few pages on the book on the video. Um, am I up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. So this is this is um a, set, a page from the section I wrote on on water contact lenses, and just to show you some of the print quality. I mean, generally textbooks don't have print quality comparable to um. Oh, that's me. I'm in the book. I've, I've not looked through it, so. Yeah, that's that's me at hard at work in in Rajarampat. I would say generally um, instructional books don't have the print quality of a coffee table book, but there are some fantastic images in here, and they're printed certainly well enough to really enjoy. Um, they're not going to look as good as a lavishly produced, expensively printed on expensive paper coffee table book. But I think that you know the pictures certainly give you everything you need to go for in terms of generating um, inspiration from them. I mean, I, I've only seen the PDF. I haven't seen the printed version. But I think I think one of the things that I liked in this edition was I, I generally thought that that Martin's selection of images was better than it had been in previous books. Um, and, and I I mean Martin produced beautiful images, but I, I thought there were, there were some really stunning images in this version. But I think one thing I would say as a photographer who's in it is that. The pictures aren't credited to the photographers yeah, yeah. if you open it up on any page. Yeah. And so you can look at a picture and go, wow, that's amazing, but you don't know who took it. Yeah. Um, but if you go through the book front to back, you obviously then get to the section where that, that photographer is, is writing that section and it's their pictures inside it. Yeah, I, I, but I was, I mean, and again, I should point out that, that I was looking at a PDF version that was pre-publication or, or it was I think it was the published version but it's certainly early uh, and I thought that the proofreaders actually had done a pretty bad job there was there's some really strange syntax there's sort of misjointed sentences and I, I don't want to sound too down on it but but as an editor myself it's one of those things that I tend to notice perhaps more than other people um, so it does for me if if I, if I was to be critical I think the content of the book's excellent the images are lovely um, I think that the, the, the philosophy and, and, the, and the way that Martin's laid his structure out is very good, but it's let down a bit by the way the editors have, have proofread it. Um, and and I, that's a shame, I think. Uh, um, if, if there was to be a second edition of this, I, or a reprint of this, sorry, I, I, would, I would like to see that they go back in and correct some of those. Um, I don't know whether that's possible now. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, but I, I think uh, the takeaway is that every single underwater photographer would benefit from having this book. Absolutely. You know, it's, you know, there's no, you know, and, and just, you know, I, I think that's, you know, your everyone can learn something, I think. And the, the amount of content that this book holds yep. is huge. And okay, you know, maybe not everyone is going to read every page of it, yep. but there's loads and loads of inspiration, loads and loads of ideas. And it's, a, you know, I think one of the great things that these books can do is they can really get your head in that right space yep. when you're going back to underwater photography after a little bit of a break or something. Yep. It's a great way. And and I have to say, I always prefer reading a, a good solid hard copy book than I do to flipping through stuff on a computer or, or an iPad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I think there's a great deal great to be said for the for the process of, of reading from, from a piece of paper. Um that's great. I I, I think um I, um Martin's book is available via the publishers. I'm sure you imagine it's probably available via Amazon in places by now. Oh yeah, I'm sure um, it is. And and obviously Alex's book is is available again via Amazon. Oh, yeah. And um, and and um, and I, the digital version. I know that the the digital version um, wasn't a Kindle version. It was an alternative. And again, that was available via Martin's publishers. Um, I'm sure if you Google around, you'll find it. So um, yeah, go out, get inspired, read the books. Um, and, and hopefully we'll all be in the water shooting soon. Um, so thank you very much, Alex. Um, um, 
enjoy enjoy I, I imagine you're going to sit down and read the book now so so enjoy that yeah i'm really looking forward um, to looking through it actually and, I, it was, I was trying to look at the screen as i was showing <laughs> and um, thank you all for watching um and um thanks to our sponsors for this episode which was chris Salimbe. um i'd like please if you'd like to add comments i mentioned i'll add the url to the review for, for martin's book in the in the section on youtube um please add comments add suggestions and subscribe to the channel thank you very much i look forward to